Hello dear friends. I welcome you all to today's session. Dear children, today we will continue our topic adjectives. I hope you remember what all we learnt about adjectives in the previous sessions. Yes. So let us see further. Before we start the next category of adjectives, let us have a quick recap of what is an adjective. Dear children, an adjective is a word used to modify a noun or a pronoun. Okay? As I have already shared with you in previous sessions, an adjective is that word which describes more a noun or any pronoun. Now, adjectives answers the questions what kind, what kind means, any quality, which we have done in the previous session, adjective of quality. Then they tell you which one, that is also adjective of quality, how many, which was adjective of number, or how much, which is adjective of quantity. So, after completing all these categories, today dear children, we are going to learn about possessive adjectives. Okay? Are you ready? Yes. So, let us begin our session about possessive adjectives. So, what are possessive adjectives? Dear children, possessive adjectives means to show who owns or possesses something. The meaning of the word possession means belongs. So any word which tells us about who owns something or a thing belongs to whom, that word if used with a noun becomes our possessive adjective. Like he likes his bus. So the word bus is the noun and whose bus? His. The word his becomes our possessive adjective. Let us learn more. Dear children, possessive adjectives are basically the words like my, your, his, her, its, our, you are there. And remember they have to be used with the noun. <coughs> like these are your shoes. The word shoes here is the noun. And the word your tells us whose shoes are these. Okay. So the word your becomes our possessive adjective. Similarly, See the example, I am looking after her dog. Now here dog is a noun. So the word her is possessive adjective. See the next example. Hey, that's my one. Now here the word one is a pronoun. Okay, and the word my is a possessive adjective. So that means whenever we use any possessive adjective, it has to be used with some noun or pronoun. Alright? Now dear children, this is a very good chart to make us understand how a possessive adjective is formed. As we have done pronouns in one of our previous sessions, so, it would be easier for you to correlate these charts. Now, see in the one, singular is given. Personal pronoun I, which is first person personal pronoun. The possessive adjective for I becomes my. Similarly, the personal pronoun you is second person personal pronoun. The possessive adjective for you is your. The third person personal pronoun 
he used for masculine gender has the possessive adjective his the word she which is also a third person personal pronoun for a feminine gender the possessive adjective for this pronoun is her it is a neuter gender third person personal pronoun the possessive adjective for this is its similarly in plural category we is first person personal pronoun the possessive adjective for we is are you remains your and they is used for plural third person personal pronoun and this word changes to their for possessive adjective now we will learn what do we mean by these changes we will learn how they are used in the sentences see i play basketball this is your personal pronoun i this is my sister so here my is used as a possessive adjective okay <coughs> the table which we learned in the previous slide here we are learning the usage of it like you are a student wash your hands so you changes to your for a possessive adjective he is very nice this is his car so he is related to his she is an engineer the pencil is her pencil similarly it is a cat its teeth are very sharp we love spanish we began our work at noon you are smart students is that your wallet they are the smartest kids here their house is near the city now you can see dear children here the words in green color my your his her its are your their these words are possessive adjectives one more thing you should pay attention here to is that when we use these possessive adjectives they are always used with the nouns like my sister sister is the noun your hands hands is the noun his car car is the noun her pencil pencil is the noun its teeth teeth word is the noun our work work is the noun your wallet wallet is the noun their house house is the noun so they are always used with the nouns okay now this is again a recap of the same thing possessive adjectives v becomes r this is our teacher you becomes your students this is or your new classmate they becomes their jill and jack are in their house in singular category she becomes her she is with her brother i becomes my i like my school he becomes his there is his mother you becomes your is this your pen it becomes its the dog plays with its tail okay the more we see the usage the better our learning becomes and again remember with these words are your their her my his your its we are going to use nouns with these possessive adjectives go through the examples again and it will be more clear to you now let us see few more examples to understand the usage my dog your dog its home 
their dogs. So the words, possessive adjectives are my, your, its, their. Alright? And remember, nouns are used after them. Okay? Similarly, his dog, your dogs, her dog, our dogs. The possessive adjectives are his, your, her, our. Okay, R means when something belongs to us. Your means when it is used for the listener. You can see the girl who is speaking is pointing to them. His means belonging to a boy. Her means belonging to a girl. Okay, the picture beautifully describes that how are they related to the persons. Okay. Previously also my dog. The girl is carrying the dog in her arm. So it is my. It's home. The girl is pointing to the dog. Right? Your dog. She is pointing to the boy here. <coughs> okay? Their dogs. She is pointing to them. So that's why they related to them. Possessive adjective means the things belonging to which person. So dogs belong to them. So it becomes their dogs. Home belongs to this dog. So it becomes its home. Here the dog belongs to that girl who is speaking. So she will say my dog. Here the dog belongs to the boy whom she is talking to. So it becomes your dog. Right? Here she is pointing at the boy. It becomes his dog. In the next picture, it is with a girl, her dog. Here, she is pointing to the people whom she is talking to. So, it will be your dogs. And when it is belonging to us, the speakers who are more than one, it becomes our dogs. Alright? Now, see some more examples. Sam is eating his ice cream. You can see... The girl is speaking this and the ice cream is in the hand of the boy. So it is his ice cream. In the next picture, she is playing with her doll. Her is a possessive adjective. The girl is pointing it to another girl which is carrying the doll. Right? So his and her word are <coughs> possessive adjectives and they are used with the nouns ice cream, doll, they are nouns. Right? So remember that nouns have to be with them. Let us have some more examples. I have got a cat. It's my cat. Okay? So here the word my becomes possessive adjective. She has got a car. It's her car. So, her becomes possessive adjective. He has got a dog. It's his dog. Because the dog is of a boy. So, the word his will be used. Alright? That is why we studied that pronoun and adjective chart. Alright? They have got a book. It's their book. There is a possessive adjective. Because it belongs to third person, they. You have got a pencil. It's your pencil. Because the boy is telling the girl. So for listener we use the word your. You have got a laptop. It's your laptop. Okay. So the possessive adjectives are used according to the persons. According to the pronouns. And so we need to learn that chart. I changes to my. She changes to her. He changes to his. They changes to their. You changes to your. And these words my, her, his, their, your. All these words are possessive adjectives. Because they are used with the nouns. 
Yes, now comes a very important point, dear children. What is the difference between possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns? I know you remember in our previous session based on pronouns, we have done this category of pronouns and it is very important to revise it again because the word possessive is confusing since possessive adjectives are also there and possessive pronouns are also there and their working is similar. They both tell us about possession of a thing. Then what is the difference? Dear children, words like my, are, their, your, his, her, its. They are used before the nouns because they are possessive adjectives. On the other hand, the words like mine, ours, yours, theirs, his, hers, its. When they are used after the nouns, then they are possessive pronouns. So it is a very important point. So remember, we are studying possessive adjectives. That means with possessive adjective, the noun should always be there. The example before you clears it all the more. When you say this is my book, then the word my is possessive adjective because you are using the word book, noun, okay, with it. But when you say the same thing, this book is mine, the meaning remains same. You are again telling the possession, but grammatically the part of speech changes. In the second sentence, the word mine is not used with a pron uh, with a noun. So it becomes a possessive pronoun. Okay, dear children. And if you say this book is mine book, <coughs> then the sentence is completely wrong. There is no such sentence. So when you want to use possessive adjectives, there has to be a noun with them. My book, our book, their book, your book, his book, her book, its tail. Okay? Like this. So remember, this is a very important point. Always use your possessive adjectives with the nouns to show the possession. Okay? The example, this is my book. So, my book is possessive adjective, but when you say this book is mine, the word mine is possessive pronoun. So, with this, we come to the end of today's session. I'm sure this kind of adjective, possessive adjective is completely clear to you. So, till we meet in the next session, goodbye. Take care. We'll learn one more kind of adjective in the next session.